Have you ever wanted to have holding slides with looping sections, or decks made up with duplicated slides that you only have to update once? I have, and I recently discovered how, and it's completely changed my workflow for event content generation. This video is aimed at content producers, event organizers, and graphics techs. One deck for holding loops, speaker names, with seamless transitions, so here's how. It's called Custom Shows, and first I'm going to show you how I would operate this show looking at what would be the presenter view in front of the graphics operator. I'm going to avoid calling them sections, but you can think of them as sections, and I've sped up some of this in post to save viewing time. So here I have four holding slides, a welcome slide, a Wi-Fi slide, a tea coffee slide, and an agenda for the day. They are set to 10 seconds and to loop around the four slides until I tell it to move on. We can then exit this loop without leaving PowerPoint and without interrupting what's on the main output by clicking on these three dots, then custom show and see a list of custom shows that I've created. I'll show you how to do these shortly. So let's jump to our AM holding slides, which we can manually advance as we would with a normal holding deck. We can jump again to another custom show for lunch, which again has some looping slides. Some are the same as the slides we used in the intro and some are new. Here I have a partial agenda for the afternoon and a Wi-Fi slide again, both set to a 10 second loop. We can again jump to another custom show for some more holding slides, manually advancing as required, with a blank or generic slide at the end to avoid looping back to a previous slide. And to finish off the day, let's jump to another looping section with two slides on 10 second rotation, saying thanks and see you again next year. So now the how. Let's build the deck you've just seen. Let's use a template and let's change the view to the outline view. This will become important later, as naming the slides makes it easier to add and remove the correct slide from each custom show within the file. Then let's add the rest of the slides without adding any duplicates used in multiple places. When creating the slides, if you're designing and haven't made use of the title within a template, add the title in the outline view and then drag the title off the slide so it's not visible. Add a blank or generic holding slide as it will probably be useful as a buffer slide. Once we have all of our slides, let's apply a transition across all of them. Here I'm adding a half second fade. Next on all the slides making up looping section, let's add an advanced after 10 seconds. Head to slideshow, set up slideshow, set it to loop continuously until escape and click OK. Now for the bit that makes this all work. Let's create the custom shows and include the slides we want in each custom show. Head to Slideshow, Custom Slideshow, Custom Shows, and then create a new show. Give the new show a good meaningful usable name, and then select the slides you want to have and add them. Here the titles from each slide become very useful, as it's hard to tell which slide is which in larger decks. Add more custom shows as required for your needs, adding blank or buffer slides at the end of manual advanced custom shows. You can also reorder the slides within each custom show to suit. You can go back and add slides at any point to any of the custom shows. The last thing you need to do is head back into Slideshow, set up Slideshow and choose which of the custom shows in the deck to start with. When you start the deck from the beginning, this is a custom show it will start with. Now from presenter view, you can quickly jump between the custom shows. And that's it. Hopefully you can see this is really powerful and useful for a lot of smaller events where looping content and holding slides can be driven from one PowerPoint deck on one machine nice and cleanly. Thanks for watching.